He's a brilliant mathematician, but also an enigmatic recluse. These few pictures are the only ones believed to exist of Grigory Perelman. But despite the media obscurity, he's become one of the most famous mathematicians of our age. His contribution to mathematics is unparalleled in the history of mathematics. He thinks he knows exactly how the world should work. And the longer he lives, the more people disappoint him. And the fewer people he's willing to allow in his life. Um, and he actually has very sound reasons every time. Uh, the rules are solid. Grigori has just been awarded the prestigious Millennium Prize and a million US dollars by the Massachusetts-based Clay Mathematics Institute, though it's not known yet if he's accepted it. In 2006, he was offered the Fields Medal, the highest honor in world mathematics. However... I regret that Dr. Perelman has declined to accept the medal. He was the only person ever to turn it down, though not without attempts to convince him otherwise. A British mathematician, Sir John Ball, flew out to St. Petersburg to meet him. I spent two days talking to him, and I think he'd made up his mind before I, before I arrived, so there was not much chance of, uh, of dissuading him. But I, I think that he felt alienated from the mathematical community, and so he didn't want to be seen as a figurehead for the mathematical community. He achieved these accolades by solving a mathematical problem, but not just any problem. Only one problem of this importance has been solved over the last 1,000 years. I'm not sure we might see another mathematician that can achieve something this big. In 2002, Perelman solved the Poincaré conjecture, a geometrical problem that had dogged some of the world's best mathematicians for nearly a century. Featuring maths of formidable complexity, the solution of the Poincaré conjecture is essential to an understanding of three-dimensional shapes. Though there are only a handful of people in the world who can relate to Perelman's breakthrough, one day we could all feel the benefits. But he wants none of the attention for it, reporters getting a cold reception at his flat. In 2003, Perelman left the institute in St. Petersburg, where he'd worked. He's reportedly given up maths altogether, is unemployed and lives with his mother. But whether he likes it or not, the huge contribution he made to the field of mathematics will be remembered for a very long time. Tom Barton, RT, Moscaton.